I became interested in, in uh, the Steve Fawcett search uh, basically as soon as he disappeared. After following it for a time, I just felt that there was a, there was a component that we could add and that was the ground search. This search has been, been physically demanding and we've been moving through very, very difficult terrain. A lot of this stuff is steep. We're moving up narrow canyons. We're dealing with lots and lots of loose, loose scree. We're dealing with loose boulders. It's not flat, it's not smooth, and it's not soft. Spots like our, it's, it's a team member, I feel, because if anything bad happens, if the situation gets really bad out there, and somebody can't walk out, and we can't extract them from deep inside a forest or deep inside a ravine, this little guy is our most valuable teammate. The SPOT unit is a uh, personal satellite tracker. The difference between it and your normal uh, GPS devices is that it's not just a passive device that lets you know where you are in the world, but lets others know where you are. And so how it works is that you, it receives the GPS signals from the GPS satellite, locates you, and then when you want to, or on a particular set interval, you, it'll send your position back up to these uh, spot satellites, which will then relay those, that information to their network of uh, email, text, or uh, internet. And so the spot unit uh, goes both ways. It lets you know where you are and tracks where you go, but also lets others know where you are when you're out there in the field. And it's a great addition to our team. Well, the spot union is, uh, I think, essential. Now, I'm, I'm surprised we've gone this long without one. Um, for any type of backcountry people, uh, the spot union is um, a safety net. If you get lost, if uh, you need 911, it helps uh, an ambulance or emergency medical crews find you right away, where time is usually a factor in, in an emergency situation. Um, the spot gives you the option to get the crew right to you and find out where you've been and where you're going, and it's, it's amazing. In search and rescue, the absolute baseline for safety is communications. With, with regular communications, they can tell us where they, where they are, they can give us their position, we can load it into our equipment, and then plot it out and see where they are. The beauty here is that you, don't, you, you cut that one line out and you're directly in, you can see where they are. Uh, these spot units are great. From a uh, search and rescue manager uh, standpoint, um, I think it's an excellent uh, unit to have on the team members out in the field to track their movement. Um, myself as an outdoorsman, if I'm going out in the backcountry, it's something I would want to wear uh, to have my uh, family be able to track me right on the internet. And if I was to have a problem, um, I can push a button on that unit and uh, very rapidly uh, receive assistance. Um, I think they're uh, ingenious actually. From a search and rescue point of view, I really think that I'd love to bring that back to our, our, our team and to use that for us if we could. Just knowing where everyone is at any given time, um, I think is really, really valuable. Yeah, the spot units are great. It's just, it's such a nice um, bit of security to have, you know, just this thing sitting on your shoulder, small, light, out of the way, flashing away, sending tracks. Um, you kind of know that if anything went down or anything went wrong, you, you're safe. I mean, you've got, you've got help right there. Thank you.
If this was sitting on the dash of an airplane, you would know where that airplane landed, or at least went down, and this whole thing could have, could have been over with in hours, as opposed to years now. If Steve Fawcett had a spot in his, in his aircraft uh, on September 3rd, 2007, I probably wouldn't be down here today looking for him.